All right, well, this is the short introduction to uh, signaling receptors. Again, we're talking about it, but this time I'm talking about it in a little more detail. I'm going to introduce ph phosphorylation. So remember that steroid hormones are lipophilic and can cross the membrane and do not need external receptors uh, for other signaling molecules. There are a variety of transmembrane proteins that can suck the signal. So what is a kinase? We can see here the steroid hormone can go through. Then we look at the cytokine receptors. Um, and we can see receptor tyrosine kinase and then a G protein coupled receptors. We're going to talk about those later. But uh, first of all, just as an overview of, of what kinases do, they are involved in phosphorylation, which means they add a phosphate. Uh, which changes the shape, uh, it results in a conformational change in the receptor, which then um, allows for uh, the protein to be activated, and this will start the, uh, the processes we've been talking about, the cascades, that we're going to talk about a little bit more about the second signaling and the changes that will come about in the cell. And regarding protein phosphorylation, there are a number of things we should remember. And uh, we should know that one of a number of post-translational protein modifications uh, is protein phosphorylation. Others include ubiquitination and methylation, acetylation. Uh, we've talked about that um, a lot in um, molecular biology. Method, uh, methylation and acetylation, but also uh, prolyl hydroxylation, which is important in the uh, has an important role in collagen, uh, scurvy. Um, but we should know that um, protein phosphorylation can induce a rapid alteration in the function of a protein. Uh, but remember that these the amino acids where this can occur, there are only three, which are serine, threonine, and tyrosine residues. And why why is it only these three? Because these are the only three that can be phosphorylated. Why are they the only three that can be phosphor phosphorylated? It's because of the hydroxyl group. They have a hydroxyl group on the end so the phosphate can be added to that. And um, this phosphorylation is, is uh, mediated by protein kinases. Remember that this is what adds the, uh, the phosphate and then we also have uh, protein phosphatases, which turn off the protein or, or take the phosphate um, away. Now, we think that of t kinases as turning on and phosphatases as turning off, but sometimes the opposite occurs. So changing the, the, alter the function is altered uh, because the, there is a conformational change in the protein, which can give the protein a new function and new binding sites are created so now that the protein can interact with other specific proteins or, or break interactions.